Two arrest warrants over the weekend could end the mystery of what happened to a 19-year-old Punta Gorda girl killed more than a decade ago. It could be the first step towards closure and justice for her family and the beginning for prosecutors. She was a wonderful human being and no one had the right to do what they did to her. A tribute to Tara Sidorovich still stands near the site of where she went missing more than 11 years ago. And her mom still grieves for the life that might have been. I lost a child that I loved very much and so I don't know if I'm ever going to completely have closure, but it, it will be justice for Tara. The family moved to Punta Gorda after Tara graduated from school in Pennsylvania. Her mom says she was planning to go to school here to become a crime scene investigator when she was killed. We checked the area and, you know, it, you know, we felt that it was good to come here and unfortunately it didn't work out that way. But now two arrest warrants more than a decade after officials found Tara's skeletal remains here east of Burnt Store Road give her family and neighborhood hope towards closure and justice and a possible end to the mystery. A long journey. When I came in here to this agency nine years ago, one of the first people I met with was Sharon. And we sat at our, my table and we discussed, and when I was the appointed sheriff, this case. And I made a commitment to her back then and we weren't going to stop, and we didn't. I was very, very excited. Why is that? Is well, they've been looking for them for, a long, for them for a long time, and everybody knows, you know, everybody feels that that was the party that was involved, so I'm just glad they got somebody, and I hope it's the right person. The lead investigator on the case says the two men they issued arrest warrants for in the last few days were suspects from the very beginning. Investigators say they interviewed Phil Gavin Barr and David Ray McManus numerous times, but they didn't have enough to make an arrest until they found new evidence and got new testimony. At last check, a national search is still underway to arrest Barr, but authorities in Cumberland, Maryland, plan to extradite McManus to Charlotte County. You want to keep it here on SNN Local News for updates on this developing story as it moves from the investigation phase to prosecution.